man. D, Street of Crib, Talk Footballville, Caneville. We back. Sponsor, man, Reed Law Group. Y'all go check out Reed Law Group. I'm going to put the website down there somewhere. You got any family issues, any family business you need to deal with in court, uh, in the streets, so she'll, she'll, she'll help you handle it in the courtroom and, and get it get done the right way. Uh, listen, man, today I want to talk about, um, uh, we saw a game last week, uh, Clemson versus Ohio State. Two of the best quarterbacks in college football went at it, uh, Trevor Lawrence and Justin Fields. Justin Fields. College career has been kind of rocky. He was at Georgia. Somebody called him a Nigel. And then he left. <laughs> um, allegedly. Uh, ended up at Ohio State. Ohio State picked him up. Um, had a great, uh, his second year was great. Uh, once he got to Ohio State. And we have Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence, a golden boy of college football. Came in the league. Won a national championship as a, as a freshman. We thought he was going to win three straight. Um, from the way their team was uh, set up, um, and uh, he, he didn't. But ever since he came in the league, um, he has been the golden boy. Like he's been this Trevor Lawrence street sweepstakes. Uh, who's going to get Trevor Lawrence? Who's going to draft him first? Um, I remember when I went to Clemson. I went to Clemson on a, a visit to Clemson um, with a with a couple kids, and we got to speak to um, what's his name? The former Bills quarterback. Uh, we'll find his name and put it up at the bottom or something. But the former Bills quarterback, I think, it's like their quarterback coach or, or quarterback mentor or something at the time. And he was telling me that Trevor Lawrence was the deal. This is when the whole the whole deal about Clemson. Putting Trevor Lawrence in ahead of what was the kid name? What was the kid name who Trevor Lawrence took his position? Remember his name? We'll we'll figure it. We'll figure that out. It's not a big deal. Y'all know who we're talking about. It was a big deal. Trevor Lawrence came in. Dabo said, "This is our guy." Dabo said, "This is our guy." Put him in position. Other guy who had been there for a while um, actually won for Clemson. Had to hit the road, and everybody was like, "Oh man." Uh, that was kind of dirty, you know what I'm saying? But college football been dirty. Um, Trevor Lawrence comes in and shows that he is that guy. End up showing, goes, goes straight to the national championship. It wasn't nothing you could say after that. Uh, but here's my thing. Here's my thing. When we talk about Trevor Lawrence and drafting and the NFL, from what we saw the other night. My question is, why isn't Phil's name mentioned as much as Trevor Lawrence? And Trevor Lawrence has, 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 played, uh, has played a lot more games than Phil's. Um, but when you start looking into the numbers, we start looking into the numbers, passer ratings, and things of that nature, Phil stacks up with Trevor Lawrence. And, and, and it's, it's, it's crazy. I always like to say God has a sense of humor that you put them on the stage together Biggest game of the year, everybody watching, and Fields goes crazy right on the same field with Trevor Lawrence. Now, this is, this wasn't the first time they've met before. Um, first time, I think Trevor had two touchdowns, 200 and, I think, uh, 230 yards or something like that. Fields had 300-something yards, a touchdown, and two interceptions. But what Fields did the other night, I think, cemented that he needs to be in the conversation. Um... But it doesn't get mentioned that way. Uh, it doesn't get mentioned that way. And I don't know if it's the track record of Ohio State and their quarterbacks and what their quarterbacks actually do once they get to the NFL. But if you dive into the numbers, from a quarterback standpoint, Phil's passer rating as a whole, his career stats, is better than Trevor Lawrence. Is that the only thing that they're drafting off of? Obviously, no. So if you look at their career and, and their stats, if you dive into the numbers, Trevor has played a lot more football than Fields. Uh, that's one thing that Trevor has. Uh, yeah, but the, the, the one glaring stat is their passer rating. Fields' passer rating is 182.6. Trevor's passer rating is 164.3. Now, the passing rating, we know the passer rating was developed. 
to rate quarterbacks because they were having a hard time. How, how do we rate quarterbacks? How do we rate the uh, uh, completion percentage? And they put a formula together. NFL has their own formula. College has their own formula. But my, well, what I'm saying is this. Ohio State quarterbacks haven't done that well in the NFL. But we talk as if these quarterbacks were born and raised in Buckeyeville or something. These all are different kids, different coaches, <laughs> different systems, and nothing in life works like that. My question is, is on a national stage, Fields obliterates, however you say that word, obliterates, obliterates, Fields goes in on Clemson and Trevor Lawrence and shows everybody head to head that, oh man, at least, at least mention my name when you say his name. Um, and then some people say, oh man, but yeah, you can't trust Ohio, you can't trust an Ohio State, you can't trust an Ohio State quarterback, you know what I'm saying? But that makes no sense to me. I go all the way back to, I saw one of the greatest quarterbacks in high school play, Lamar Jackson. And if you, if you saw him play, well, from football field standpoint, me seeing him play in high school, I knew right then he was one of the greatest things that I've ever saw play on a football field. It didn't matter that he was a quarterback running the ball. Or it didn't matter that, that his, he wasn't as accurate or he wasn't trained at that point. He was so good that I knew he would transcend the position and, 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 and make it work for him. I knew this in high school. They questioned him in college. They questioned him going to the NFL draft. Some yeah. thought he needed to run the 40 so he could be a wide receiver. Gets to the NFL. Harbaugh gives him a chance. And he does exactly what I already knew he could do. Some of these cliche things when we talk about quarterbacks' height and, and uh, NFL quarterback, uh, this stuff is changing. An uh, NFL quarterback is a, is a guy who could run on third down and get a first down. Um, or actually just sometimes just run a quarterback keeper. Uh, these things are changing. It's, it's, it's changing right before your eyes. Now, Trevor Lawrence is, can do all of that. Like, I mean, he ran all over my canes. I mean, so <laughs> he can do all that. But I'm here to say Fields deserves some respect. He deserves some respect as a quarterback. And why he isn't getting it is weird to me. The guy from BYU, I mean, they're saying he's the next thing since pans with pockets. Fields deserves some respect, and he showed us on the national stage. Football field, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, share, and join, man, if you really care, man. Join, become a member. Hit the blue button down there. We out. Oh, no,